Jerusalem latest, Israeli undercover officers seen attacking Palestinian protesters. Footage of undercover Israeli border police infiltrating, attacking and arresting Palestinians throwing stones has emerged from a protest in the West Bank. The plainclothes officers, known as Mustarabin, were filmed by AF journalists at a protest near the Dko checkpoint between Ramallah and the settlement of Beit El in the occupied West Bank a popular spot for demonstrations. More than 100 Palestinians were present at yesterday's protest. An Israel Defense Forces IDF statement said some people threw stones, burned tires and threw petrol bombs at Israeli soldiers. In Wednesday's footage, several men, faces covered with masks, kefis and balaclavas, suddenly pulled out guns. Some fired into the air and one detonated a smoke bomb. Several protesters were held in headlocks or kicked and punched. The move coupled with an advance from the armed forces, caused the protesters to scatter, effectively ending the violent demonstration. The Mustarabin then crossed behind the Israeli lines. Three Palestinians were arrested during the incident, police said. There has been widespread unrest across the West Bank and Gaza since President Donald Trump passed the 6th of December decision to recognize a contested city of Jerusalem as Israeli. Four Palestinians have died in the clashes and one Israeli soldier was seriously injured in the Jerusalem stabbing attack. Israeli Mustarabin or Mustarvim in Hebrew are Arabic-speaking agents who disguise themselves as Arab to infiltrate various elements of Palestinian society. Palestinians frequently accuse the Israeli security forces of such tactics, but it is rare for officials to comment on strategy. Israel has been sending undercover officers into the middle of Palestinian protests for decades, said Gary Speeding a cross-party consultant on Israel and the Palestinian territories. It allows the Israeli military and border police to identify protesters they wish to arrest and detain. They may also use the opportunity to incite stone-throwing so as to justify the use of excessive force. The tactic helps to sow distrust, confusion and is aimed at stifling dissent in protests. Israeli media speculated that the squad deployed to the Dko protest was from Yamas, part of the border control police. Kagat, the Israeli military administration in the occupied West Bank, did not immediately respond to the independent's request for comment.